Hello there guys, Andy from Kent Survival here. Thanks very much for clicking through to my latest video. Uh, today I'd like to talk about my bug out bag. This will be version 3.0 I guess. Um, version 2.0 is in a previous video which I'll link at the end of this one. Uh, maybe you could do some comparisons, tell me how I've improved or made it worse. <laughs> so when I use the term bug out bag, um, I mean an emergency bag, a uh, get home bag, a bug out bag, you know, preparedness bag. I keep this in my truck at all times, um, along with a couple of other things, including an EDC pouch, which I'll uh, go through as well and stick that in a separate video. But they're always together, and there's always uh, clothes and food in the truck as well. Um, so this is anything from being snowed in uh, to visiting someone and not having a toothbrush and everything in between. Um, not really end of the world stuff here, so don't bother commenting that I'm not gonna survive the end of the world, because I'm not expecting that anytime soon. Okay, so uh, let's start and get into the bag here. So first up, this is a Nighthawk 40 litre bag. It's the exact same one as I did, uh, gave away in the uh, 1000 subscriber giveaway. Um, it's got a main section, a front section, and two pockets here. Uh, it's got all your adjustment straps, um, molly webbing and everything. Uh, it's really good. It's a really good bag, uh, especially for the money. So I'll go through what's on the outside here. We've got a, a Condor water bottle pouch here. On the top here, this is... Something to it here. So this is like a dump pouch. Can stick on your belt on the outside of the bag itself, collecting tinder or whatever, pretty handy. And on the other side here we have the EDC pouch, which I'll go through separately, which is always with this. Uh, there's a paracord bracelet on the side there, just because. And um, a survival grenade with the fishing kit and bits and bobs in there, I'll put that on there just because I had it from a previous video that I did. And uh, a little capsule that has uh, 20 pounds in it. It should be enough to get me home from a, a lot of places in case of an emergency. On the front here, um, we've got this little water bottle carrier. You may have seen me use this before. Um, pretty handy for additional water, can't have enough water. Uh, survival whistle. Uh, this is a uh, Cree Ultra Fire flashlight, or a torch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's pretty strong and um, it does SOS and strobe effects and everything. Here we have the Polymath Products uh, nav bead, so um, glow in the dark uh, compass and the, uh, the beads for, the count, uh, for counting your steps. Uh, so this is my um, first aid pouch. On the outside you can see we've got this uh, CPR face shield, which I don't know how to use but somebody else might have to, uh, be able to and I'd like to learn a lot more about first aid going forward. So I'll start here with the uh, smallest of the pockets. Some easy accessible stuff. We've got a um, survival mirror, reflector, and it's got a whistle on there as well. So, you know, the first thing in a survival situation is to be found. Got a face mask because you never know. Could be handy in several situations. Some uh, working gloves. Pen. A headlamp, if you don't have one, get one. They are, you know, indispensable when you're out and about. Uh, learn that from camping. Got a uh, proper compass here. Uh, this is a key, it's like a utility key, lift key. Uh, gets you in and out of certain places. <laughs> okay, if I take off this water bottle here. And get into the first aid pouch. It's a little bit messy, I'm looking for a way of organising this. Um, we've got one of these uh, splints. Um, plenty of bandages, tourniquet, eye wash, more bandage. Got uh, plenty of painkillers, anti diarrheas, all sorts there. Uh, after bite. Got a dental kit, emergency fillings, wet wipes for cleaning up. Whoa. Got an Olbus inhaler. And 
the rest of the kit here, which is the same as I had before basically. Uh, everything from tampons to uh, alcohol wipes, um, uh, sterile um, cotton wool buds, uh, ice packs, heat packs, uh, emergency blanket, you know, bandages, everything. So although I like this, I would like a better way of uh, putting everything together in here. Right, so on the side here is the Condor water bottle pouch. You can see there's another survival grenade there because why not, I had it. Uh, let's get into the main section first here. And first up we have a uh, Millbank bag. So this is your first stage filter for uh, dirty water. It's going to get particulate matter out. It's not going to sterilise it though. We have a Highlander Nalgene style uh, stainless steel bottle. Currently empty. I usually keep bottled water in the truck next to this so I could fill that and go. Um, I don't like having to, you know, change it out every now and again. And this, this is what the bottle nests into. Can be a little tricky to get out. There we go. So this is the Stanley cook set and lid and the handle is in here so that could uh, boil your water if you wanted to and here we have some uh, related items and um, some quick access items so we've got a lighter we've got some uh, sanitizing hand gel quick access to glow stick tissues and this is like a brew kit for tea, coffee, um, UHT milk, uh, some sauces in there as well, never know. We have the handle to the Stanley cook set. And at the bottom here we have a couple of wet fire tinders and a couple of water purifying uh, tablets. And that's everything for the water bottle pouch. Okay, so I've put the bag on its back to open it up. Um, you can see on the straps here I've put these uh, Ranger bands or bicycle inner tube. Quick access fire starter and it's just a good place to put them. Okay, so the front section here. We have a uh, small shovel. This one's not been used, but it's for this pack especially. I've got another one which I take out in my camping pack which is pretty handy so have that in there have a uh, pouch here which has the Sawyer water filter so that's all the bits for that including for back flushing and everything uh, if I need to when I'm camping I'll take that out with me clean it up dry it out put it back in here um, I haven't got enough money to buy two basically <laughs> Okay, this is a one-time use emergency charger for your phone um, until I get a chance to get a um, solar panel charger set to go on this. Um, I thought I'd just stick this in here. I also have the one I take camping as well, which is a bigger one, reusable one. But yeah, I saw these, a couple of quid. Couldn't go wrong. Uh, just shoved a, a mug shot in there. Um, quick, easy food. There's more in here. With wet wipes, can't live without them. Uh, cleaning up yourself and other things, very good. Have this uh, spool tool type thing, um, not an actual spool tool, but similar thing uh, with a load of paracord on it. This is quite a lightweight uh, tarp. I believe this one, is, they call it large, is three meters by two and a half meters, uh, something around that. Um, I've not tried this out, I hear good things, um, but I do plan to do a video where I put this to the test and go and basically do a camp with it, probably up here around near the shelter just in case, but um, yeah, look forward to uh, trying that out. Okay, so firstly this is, there you go, windshield for a stove. You don't know what conditions you're going to be in. If this is an emergency bag, then you know there could be quite bad conditions.
Along with that we've got a um, small dish and some methylated spirits. Um, this is a backup to the other system that's in here really. Um, wrapped up in here, a bit more controversial, but um, there's a flashbang and a uh, smoke grenade uh, which goes off for about a minute. Um, yeah, you never know, escape and evade. <laughs> Got some heavy duty foil here, plenty of it. Got a, a, a poncho or raincoat as it is in this case, reusable one, it's not one of them ones that kind of disintegrates in your fingers. This is an emergency shelter, so it's this uh, mylar foil material, but it um, can be used like a bag or a shelter, a bit better than one of them little blankets. Um, this is kind of secondary really to the rest of what's in here. Uh, it's another poncho. So if I'm with someone, my girlfriend for example, for the poncho each. This is a uh, ground shake tarp, basically, fin tarp. Um, yeah, multiple uses, two meters by one. And that's it for the front section. Right, so main section. This should open up all the way, clamshell style. Here we go. So, first up at the front here, this is um, one of them sunscreen visors for the car. Um, you may have seen, if you've seen my wild camping videos, I take one of these everywhere. Um, and I usually have another mat on top of this, but this would be a good mat in emergency on its own. It's a little bit of comfort, not much, but mainly, you know, the it's reflecting your own heat to you and keeping the cold from the ground off of you. So that and the ground sheet together should work fine. We've got right at the front here is an MRE. Uh, so this is well in date. Um, I don't always have this in here. Uh, so depending on the time of the year, I might have dry food in here, like a mountain house, a couple of mountain house meals. Um, so that would be in the height of summer and when it goes to kind of zero, sub-zero temperatures because it's in the truck all the time. So this is the spring-autumn food, I guess. This is a mountain warehouse bivy bag. Um, I used this when I stayed at this shelter uh, two weeks ago, I think it was. Uh, that's the first time I used this, took it out of the bug out bag just to use it for that camp and it isn't breathable, so uh, it doesn't let water in but it does collect quite a lot of water inside there. Um, so unfortunately I think I'm going to have to splash out a bit more money and get the snug pack one and hope that's a bit better because it's a, a small lightweight one, I didn't want something big and heavyweight in here. Okay, along the bottom here we've got a load of um, big zip ties, so for you know doing shelter stuff etc. And on that same vein we've got a couple of bungee cords as well. I also keep some of these in the truck. Next up we've got a glow stick, just like the one in the uh, pocket. Down here we've got my old um, folding saw. I say my old one because it is a little bent, but it still does work fine. So that now lives in here. Got another pack of tissues, very handy. Got some uh, T-Rex, it's like Gorilla Tape type stuff really. It's quite a small roll, so I uh, thought that would be quite good in here. Not too heavy. This tiny little thing is um, a backpack basically, folds down into this little pocket. So that's quite good for um, setting up um, your shelter or your camp, then going and collecting firewood, uh, foraging, whatever, it's a good secondary bag. So we're getting into uh, autumn stroke winter now, um, so there's some hand warmers in here. Uh, there's only the two in here at the moment. Um, there's two in my camping bag right now as well. I need to uh, find some for a good price and uh, stock up for the winter. Very good to chuck in your sleeping bag. Um, so, again, on keeping warm, we've got here, if 
I'll show you that. That's the Polymath Products Spitfire fire kit. So you've got wax soaked uh, jute twine, um, you've got these kind of dowels and a um, pencil sharpener just to get um, some small tinder material. Um, we've got telescopic um, bellows and a uh, ferrocerium rod. So I thought that was perfect to put in here. I've used it a couple of times so I have tested it and it does work very well. This is a boffy bag, um, I think it's two person, um, so that's quite a big shelter for an emergency. Uh, so again, just a, a, another option when doing shelter building. This is like a cheapo platypus bag type thing. Um, I could use that for dirty water or clean water, whichever I choose, it's not been used yet with the um, soya filter. Here we have my hygiene kit. So it's got like uh, folding toothbrushes, soap, shower gel, um, shaving kit, even though I have a beard. I'm gonna have to escape and evade and get rid of it. <laughs> um, yeah, toothpaste, you know, all of that stuff. There's even earplugs in there as well. So that's all on that little pouch. Here we have uh, another hank of paracord. Um, it's got to be about 50 meters, uh, 50 feet probably there. Uh, so you know, multiple uses as you know. Uh, this is just some uh, cordial, um, double strength stuff, just to make your water taste a little bit better. <laughs> Cliff bar. Um, you should probably have that in the bottle bag, uh, easy access. Um, love these things, this is the chocolate chip. Um, you know, you can skip a meal with these things, they're great. Right, so here we have a call it survival bag, I guess. Um, bits and bobs. We have some uh, water purification pills, life system water purification, um, and like a, a little filter bag. The uh, BCB emergency fishing kit, uh, alcohol wipes, scalpel blades, and some smaller uh, zip ties. Got a bandana here, um, multiple uses. Um, you can use it as a dusk mask, a water filter, a bandage, whatever you need to use it for. Small piece of fat wood, tried and tested. Uh, another ferrocerium rod, because uh, I had it in the old bag, so I just put it in here. Some um, cotton wool. Some super glue. Uh, this is a pencil sharpener, two sizes. This is before I had the um, Polymath Products one, so I guess that's a bit of redundancy. Uh, this is a utility key. So there's different keys for different access to water and stuff if you're in a, an urban environment. Little sewing kit, scissors, thread, etc. A couple of buttons, never know. And just because there's a tiny little button compass in here as well. And that's it for that bag. have here a completely unused um, Ozark trowel uh, two to three season sleeping bag tiny little thing uh, I've used the exact same one all of this um, summer stroke autumn and it's done really well uh, love this little bag compacts down really small um, yeah it's a pretty good bag it's better than having just an emergency blanket this small uh, pencil case uh, pouch here has got a uh, monocular so I had it so I might as well put it in here I've got like in my last video some of the silica gel when you buy stuff keep this throw it in your bag because you're not accessing it very often it's going to help keep moisture out and in the top pocket here have an all weather notebook 
Aha. So I thought I'd uh, missed something out. And this pouch here, which is in a, a small pocket in the front pouch there, of a wood burning stove. So as you can see, I have tried and tested this one. This one's a Lixada. Um, so that can work in conjunction with the windshield. I can also put that alcohol burner inside there if I don't have any wood to burn. But yeah, that's your cooking system. I can just make a uh, campfire. <laughs> right, so that's the contents of my bug out bag, uh, emergency bag, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, I think I've improved it quite a lot and um, actually reduced the size down a tad as well. So I've got out quite a lot of useless stuff. It's not until you really start wild camping, um, shelter building, that sort of thing that you really get to know exactly what you need. Um, water and shelter being two of the most important things there and the fire of course as well. Um, hopefully that wasn't too boring for you. Uh, I didn't go into too much detail about some of the items and why they're in there. If you're watching this video you've probably watched a hundred bug out bag videos and you know that already and I didn't want it to overrun too much. So yeah, please let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'll put on the screen now my old bug out bag video so you can check that out and tell me how I've improved and I'm also going to put out um, a link for the EDC pouch so you can see what goes along with this bag. If you do think something's missing, it's probably in this pouch here. Thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope to see you again soon in another video. Don't forget to subscribe and share.